about the One Teacher One Laptop Initiative by the government of Ghana. Now the trade unions, Innovative Teachers and All Teachers Alliance Ghana, ATAC, having continuously monitored and monitored the narrative about One Teacher One Laptop Initiative, an inquiry made at relevant state institutions hereby states as follows. Innovative Teachers and All Teachers Alliance Ghana agree that teachers must be given laptops by the government as part of government responsibility in accordance with Section 9A of the Labor Act, Act 651. The distribution of quality laptops to teachers ought to have started in 2007 when President John Kufuo introduced ICT as a subject. The poor ICT education teachers received with no practical skills before they were employed is the most cogent reason why teachers must be given quality laptops of brands that have been tried and tested. COVID-19, as the reason espoused by NAT, NAGRAT, CCT, for teachers to be given laptop is preposterous and untenable. We are vehemently opposed to the 30% and the 70% cost sharing idea of paying for the laptop because it is the responsibility of the employer to provide the tools needed by teachers to work. There is obvious contradiction between the number of laptops to be distributed. The president quoted 280,000 laptops and the vice president quoted 350,000 laptops. How can one contract have different figures? The price of the laptops keep changing like a chameleon. With reference to GES press statement dated 9 September 2021, the price of the laptop was 1,831 CDs, and its 30% was 549 CDs. GES letter dated 26 October 2021 quoted 509 as price for the 30% component. What was the actual amount negotiated before KA Technology started executing the contract? Teachers preferred Dell, Lenovo, Apple, Toshiba, Acer, Samsung, and other brands just like parliamentarians Parliamentarians love Toyota V8 cars because what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. Teachers feel insulted that the Ministry of Education does not think highly of sale. That is why it preferred a local company with no track record in manufacturing laptops for the second time after the RLG debacle. The defunct RLG distributed laptops to selected schools and teachers in Ghana. Since the laptops were substandard, almost all of them broke down within a short time. One would have thought that the Ministry of Education ought to have learned lessons from the ROG fiasco and not repeat the same with KA Technologies Ghana Limited. It has become obvious that the Ministry of Education will continuously insult teachers with laptops of suspicious quality, which breaks down within a short time, resulting in a huge financial loss to the state.